Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another episode of Red Cape Sports. As you guys can see, I'm back in the studio, Bird Bouchard that is. Uh, corona has been... Corona's been Corona. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna jump into this video. I got a lot to go through today. Um, I got a lot of my sports card collection, memorabilia, autograph stuff. Um, but before I start, uh, I just want to make two quick points here. Um, so I kind of separated it in cards that I can't find because I recently moved and things are still in the storage bins and I kind of got to go through them. And then also cards that I unfortunately sold because rent, car payments and bills are an actual thing. The autographs that I sold unfortunately, Alex Ovechkin unfortunately sold that one for, for way, not enough money. Uh, Henrik Lundqvist sold that one as well. Uh, Vince Carter, that one definitely hurts as well. Uh, Mitch is shaking his head there. Jonathan Taze, I sold that one. I was actually pretty happy with the return on that one though. Jerome McGinla and Jorge Soler. Uh, I was actually able to meet Jorge Soler when I visited uh, Fenway Park. And the cards, or pardon me, I keep saying cards because we are a card show, but the autographs that I can't find are my, my idol, Urban Meyer. Uh, Joe Sackick and Mark Burley. Holding our paper hearts, fading our but now getting on to the good stuff. Guys, I got a recruitment letter from Alabama. No, I actually didn't get a recruitment letter. Uh, this is just something that you get when you send uh, TTMs, which is through the mail autograph request. Uh, so I sent one and I got back, um, it, it, and I'm just stoked to get this back. This is absolutely phenomenal. Roll Tide, Nick Saban. So I'll show this to the overhead. A beautiful Nick Saban, eight by 10. So absolutely happy with that one. Um, you know, is he better than Urban Meyer? I don't know. I mean, you can literally make a case for, for either or, but regardless, Nick Saban is, uh, he's a master at what he does. Nothing spectacular whatsoever. Uh, this is a Mark Tian. Sign ball. Most of you don't even know who Mark Tian is. This autograph actually means something to me. Uh, my grade 11 business teacher, her brother-in-law, I believe, is Mark Tian. So he was very, very uh, fortunate or very uh, nice to me and, and, and signed that ball for me. So that was pretty cool. Um, let's move on to my, my pride and joy. We'll just get it out of the way. Boom. Pete Sampras. So for those of you who don't know, Pete Sampras. Probably one of the greatest Wimbledon tennis players of all time. Um, you know, I was just so thrilled to get this one back. I am actually a, a huge tennis fan, and Pete Sampras with his uh, serve. Pete Sampras was just a man, you know? I mean, uh, I believe seven-time Wimbledon champion, but either way, he's in the top five for, for Grand Slams. Um, no, this is not a recruitment letter from Duke Basketball. Um, I just refuse to play with Zion. So, but anyway, um, another autograph request that came back and it should be in here. Oh, no, it's not in here. I lied. Here it is. Show you guys in the overhead. This is Mike Krzyzewski, Coach K. Um, yeah, try pronouncing that one, Krzyzewski. Um, most of you won't know, but it's just another name that you can't pronounce, but the all-time winningest coach in NCAA history. But then again, he's basically got Zion and the rest of the world. So is it fair? Who knows? Boom! Marvelous Marcus Mariota. That's what I personally like to call him. Show you guys that one there. Signed it beautifully down below. Um, I was very happy to get that. Again, so far, all these autographs I didn't pay a single dime for other than, you know, shipping cost. Uh, these are called TTMs, again, through the mail autograph request. Um, if you guys are interested, I can absolutely show you guys in a later episode how to find the player's success rate, meaning, you know, how often do they actually sign for their fans, um, how to find their address too. So it's a really cool hobby. It's something I do. Uh, mix that together with, you know, sending out you know, uh, eBay cards and receiving eBay cards. And I basically receive mail every day other than Sundays, um, which is absolutely fantastic. Just makes the hobby that much more fun. Again, if you guys are interested in something like that, just let me know down in the comments and I'll be more than happy to make a video. Boom. The man that, uh, 
that a lot of Toronto Maple Leaf players don't really like. Tyler Sagan, or Tyler Segan, however you want to pronounce that. That was an interesting trade to say the least, but uh, this man is an absolute stud. I'll show it here as well. Bird, I got the overhead for a reason. It's Tyler Sagan. So again, this one got absolutely free in the mail. Um, absolutely happy to get that one back. Um, I feel like Dallas isn't necessarily the greatest market for him, but nevertheless, he's a stud player. Um, and I'm gonna show these two. So unfortunately, um, these are signed in black, but what are you gonna do? That's just the reality sometimes of when you get uh, autographs back uh, with a black background, maybe it doesn't look the greatest, but Sterling Shepard, in my opinion, one of the most underrated, under six foot receivers. Maybe he's exactly six foot, but uh, if I had to guess, 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 so Sterling Shepard, Oklahoma, he was just phenomenal. Absolutely fun to watch. So Sterling Shepard, I sent that one actually back when he was still in college, so that was fun. Uh, speaking of college, I'm a big Ohio State fan. This one is, this one means a lot to me. Honestly, my favorite Buckeye player of all time. No, it's not Greg Oden. I can kind of see Mitch laughing in the background there, but Greg Oden was not my favorite Buckeye player of all time. Aaron Kraft, uh, you want to talk about defense? Look no further than, I believe, two-time Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year in Aaron Kraft. Um, just an absolute beauty of a player. Definitely happy to have that one in the collection. Um, here's another one. Um, Anthony DeClaire. So Anthony DeClaire, he had a short stint with the New York Rangers. Um, and he's actually popping off now with the Ottawa Senators. So hopefully you guys are also enjoying this content. Um, I know a lot of people have actually asked for more hockey content. And trust me, there's a few more beauties coming out here. So Anthony DeClaire. Um, this one I was very happy to get. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a good photo of him. But boom! Do the John Wall. John Wall. Yeah, maybe we'll edit the song in. Probably not. We'll see how Mitch's editing skills are. Are you insulting me? If he even knows how to do the John Wall. But hopefully he can put that song in because that'll be awesome. You know, a lot of people don't necessarily like this when they write, you know, to Bird or to whoever it is. Personally, I'm a big fan of it because I don't like selling autographs. Um, you know, and I know that I mentioned in the beginning of the episode that I have sold autographs in the past. Um, but that's just, you know, I was just hurting for money. Uh, times, times were tough. But this John Wall card, absolutely beautiful. He's so fun to watch. I just hope that he can remain healthy. Here's an interesting one. Uh, there's a background story that comes with this one. This is Sky Sox Baseball, Ryan Spillboards. Uh, basically, Mitch went off to college, uh, played D1 baseball. I believe it was D1 at least. It was Juco at the time. Um, Colorado Spring Sox, we went to a game. Ryan Spielborg was an absolute stud. Um, he hit three home runs that game, including a walk-off Grand Slam. And then I actually sent him my ticket stub and he was nice enough to sign it and a card. Um, and the card is in here somewhere. Let's see. Where is it? 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 Where is I'll be getting to all these. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, guys, I got so much, so much goodness. Where is it? Where is it? Um, and there it is. There's, there's also the card that he signed. So Ryan Spielborg's, um, you know, I thought he was a pretty good player. So, oops, wrong way. But yeah, there we go. Ryan Spielborg's. Um, moving on to hockey once again. Bam. Uh, this guy was, uh, I believe he did play for our local junior hockey team here, um, the Winter Spitfires, Adam Graves, absolute stud. Again, I'm a New York Rangers fan, so that's pretty dang cool. Um, and there's the address that you would send it to, by the way. Maybe we can zoom in on that, maybe not, but Adam Graves. Uh, this was actually given to me by a great buddy of mine, Cody Ammon, so thank you so much, Cody. Um, and uh, congratulations on your wedding coming up soon. Uh, this one's kind of messed up here. Uh, I know Canada Post refunded me. Um, they, they really, really, really messed up this autograph. But, uh, and obviously I'm upset because I'm a big Buckeye fan. You can see there, they, they literally wrecked it. This was coming off, uh, basically Canada Post uh, was angry. They, they were striking for a little bit, but this is none other than Ohio State's current 
current head coach, Ryan Day. Bird, go Bucks, Ryan Day. Absolutely love it. Um, what more can I say? I mean, he's he's undefeated as a head coach of the Ohio State. So, um, well, obviously there was uh, there was the game versus Clemson and uh, the fumble turned touchdown. You know the whole the whole thing. Obviously, I I think we kind of got cheated a bit. But at the end of the day. Boom, this was a nice one. Two bird, AJ Dillon, go Eagles. AJ Dillon was an absolute stud for Boston College. If you guys don't know who AJ, Dill uh, who AJ Dillon is, I'm sure you'll see tons of his highlights on Sundays in the NFL. Um, so I was definitely fortunate to get that one. But for football and basketball, best time to do it is when they're still in college. Uh, they just tend to sell more, you know, or tend to sign more, pardon me. Uh, moving on, this one is absolutely uh, nostalgic for all those guys who wanted hockey. I'll pause it here um, and, and just be truthful. Obviously, I'll tell you, I'll tell you guys who's in this picture. Um, this is back from I want to say 2000, and just based on how young I am, maybe 2000, 2001. I don't know when this guy played. Obviously, that's me there, the cute little kid. And this, let me know down in the comments below. You can even look at the signature, who you guys think this is. Okay, cool. Um, it's Jason Spezza. So Jason Spezza was an absolute stud. Those were the fun years back in the barn, Windsor barn, uh, with the Windsor Spitfires. Um, and obviously he was just a great guy, you know? I mean, so Jason Spezza, really cool. Um, this one actually got him to sign in person just because, you know, he was there. Um, this one was in person. There's a story that goes to this one. Uh, so if you guys ever watched the movie Rudy, um, the not the actor, but the actual Rudy character, he was at uh, a comic book convention and sports card convention, I guess. And long story short, he just struck up a conversation with me and he signed this for me. I never asked for it, he just signed it. I was like, cool, you know, free autograph. And then as I'm leaving, he's like, dude, that's 50 bucks, like you gotta pay me. So that was my last 50 bucks. Couldn't buy any sports cards, couldn't buy any comic books. It sucked, but nevertheless, one of my favorite movies. Um, so this is Rudy. Pretty awesome. Uh, this next one also comes with a story. Um, my first apartment that I ever lived in, this, this guy just, you know, he kept seeing that I was getting mail in and, you know, through conversation, my neighbor, he was like, why are you getting mail? And I told him what I do. So. Basically, the guy in the middle here signed it. Um, pretty awesome. Uh, obviously, you got Willie Mays. Um, and I believe that's McCovey, too. So, pretty cool autograph. Um, but I'm going to fly by these next ones because I know this video is getting long, but I have so much. Unfortunately, um, what's happened to this next guy is, is, is something serious that uh, I hope that we all you know take more serious and talk about. Uh, drug addictions, it, it definitely thing but uh, in my opinion one of my favorite baseball players to grow up watching Josh Hamilton um, an absolute stud in everything he did turned his life around but it was just like a month ago where I read a report uh, that unfortunately he was he was hitting his daughter so definitely not a fan of that but I, I was a fan of Josh Hamilton the baseball player so I, ho I hope he I sincerely hope he turns his life around um, but we'll see about that um, this next one, shout out to Les Alex. Les Alex, if you're watching this, you definitely know this man, Jim Edmonds. In my opinion, one of the greatest defensive center fielders of all time. There's a fly ball center field, long run for Jim Edmonds. Oh, he made a catch! Unbelievable! He was an absolute stud. Uh, I got this one for Christmas one year from my parents. Um, so, Jim Edmonds, that was awesome. And again, guys, to, to this point, I didn't spend a single dime on any of these autographs, didn't purchase them on eBay, didn't purchase whatever. They were either, you know, gifted to me or uh, through an autograph request. Um, this one is just a little bit outside. Bob Euchre. So if you guys watch the movie Major League, uh, Bob Euchre is in there. Um, sent, he sent this one absolutely beautifully signed. Bob Euchre. You know, one of my all-time favorites. Definitely made me want to be a, a sportscaster. Uh, this next one, unfortunately, there's there's a bad story to go with it. That's John McEnroe. So John McEnroe signed this beautiful 8x10. And I'm not sure if you guys can see, maybe if I do one of these. Uh, yeah, so you guys can see that. It, it got crumpled up. 
I got this back in, I want to say 2010, 2009, 2011, around that area. Um, again, Canada Post, they, they were on this long strike, like a, a, a few months. And I got this back in the entire package, even though it said do not bend, was absolutely bent up and ripped. Um, I was able to kind of cut it and, and make it, um, who knows, you know, maybe John McEnroe just, just got mad and said that the ball was on the line and he actually did the damage to it. I personally believe it was Canada Post, so boo to Canada Post, but thank you so much John McEnroe for signing that. All right, uh, this next one, this one might actually be Mitch's and maybe he, he'll let me know. Who is this? I don't even know who this is. I think it's, yeah, it's Merrick's Fatos. This one might be Mitch's. I like his name. Yeah, this one's Mitch's, That's so this mine. isn't even mine. Yeah, what is I don't, I don't, know, I don't know how I got this. I think, do you have my Ovechkin? No, that was mine, nice try. <laughs> so, yeah. Also, speaking of which, uh, Mitch has a uh, Ovechkin Winter Classic jersey, and my dad's got a beautifully, beautifully signed Pete Rose Charlie Hustle jersey. Um, so that was that was amazing as well. Moving on, um, I'll show this. This isn't signed, but I think Mitch was here with me. Um, this was at the Rogers Cup in Toronto. Uh, Mike, oops, Mike and Bob Bryan, tennis champions. They actually have the most wins all time in doubles tennis. I know most people don't follow it, but uh, absolute fun tennis to watch. Um, one of the twins, Mike or Bob, I can't tell because they look identical. Um, they threw off this after the championship a few years ago, so I caught it. It was, it was awesome. But I did get them, however, to sign this ball. Let's see. That's Mike Bryan and Bob Bryan. So pretty cool. I mean, most people don't know who they are, but if you guys follow tennis, maybe you do. Um, uh, sticking with the theme of tennis, I picked this one up at my honeymoon. Um, my favorite current tennis player, Milos Raonic, um, an absolute missile of a serve. Whoa. 147. Advantage Raonic. And he was nearly tattooed with it. Great guy. Um, so moving on, bam, Dustin Ackley. Um, I sent off for Dux Dustin Ackley. Um, he sent me two cards. Uh, one, yeah, rookie card here and then rookie debut. But Dustin Ackley, he was actually pretty good. Yeah, and I believe it was North Carolina, but you know, anyway, he signed him. Didn't really pan out in the MLB, but great guy nevertheless. Boom, Lance Johnson. I sent this one because at the time, um, he was the only guy in Major League Baseball history to go back-to-back -back seasons um, in, I believe the stat was back-to-back -back seasons in American League and National League uh, leading and batting average. So Lance Johnson, pretty cool. I forget what the stat was, it was something like that. This next one, the man Bobby Lou, Roberto Luongo. I'll show you guys that one again. He actually signed three cards for me. Uh, I have another one, I think it's for sale on eBay, and then the other card I gave to uh, my friend Adam. So shout out to you, Mr. Butcher. Uh, Nick Swisher, this card was signed in pen. Uh, my sister's ex-boyfriend actually sent me this. Uh, so shout out to Britt, <laughs> thanks, Nick Swisher, pretty cool, and he actually went to Ohio State. There's the other Lance Johnson, so. Um, here's, here's a fantastic one, John Tavares, John Tavares, whatever you want to call him. Um, this is actually, yeah, this is actually a, um, a rookie card of his, I believe. Yeah, yeah, this is a rookie card of his that I got signed. 2009 Ovation Upper Deck, um, Two Bird John Tavares. So obviously stoked to have that one. Uh, got this one not too long ago actually. Brent Burns Two Bird, all the best. Obviously, you know can't complain with that one. Um, this next one as well comes with a story. So the long story short is my dad and I we went out to Philadelphia and they just so happened to be playing my favorite team, the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, and it was meet, meet the players day. So you literally got to go on the field and it was picture day, the whole nine yards. Um, and I was just heckling the crap out of Ryan Howard. Um, he made a couple errors and I was heckling the crap out of him. Flash forward like two weeks later and this card came in the mail 
And he actually signed it saying, Two Bird, thanks for being a fan. Best wishes, Brian Howard. So uh, that was kind of cool. Absolutely cool, actually. So thank you, Mr. Howard. Obviously, no longer playing. Seems like guys with the last name Howard just don't pan out. Um, you know, Desmond Howard. Um, I'm just kidding. Dwight Howard as well. Uh, this next one, Zach Bro. Nobody's going to know who he is. But uh, basically, my dad worked with uh, Zach's dad. And he played, I want to say, single A ball. You know, never re never made it to the MLB. Obviously, uh, Blue Jays affiliate. But Zach Bro, um, family friend. So really cool. Never made it pro, but always cool to have. And then this one I saved for last. And the reason being why I saved this for last, this was actually the very first sports card that I got for free through the mail. Andrew McCutcheon, or as I like to call him, Andrew McClutchin. So fun. I mean, for lack of better terms, kind of brought the Pittsburgh Pirates back from the dead. Um, super cool card. He sent another one, and I gave that one free of cost back in the day uh, to my good buddy, Michael McNorrigan. So I don't know if he watches his video, but if he does, and if he made it this long, awesome. So this autograph was really cool, and this autograph inspired me to start collecting. So this is the first one. I will never sell this unless you guys want to give me like 500 bucks. I'll sell it for 500 bucks. Absolutely not worth that, but I'll sell it for 500. Um, other than the autographs I can't find and the autographs I sold, that is what I have with me here today. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I know that it's, you know, a lot different than, uh, than the videos that we typically make here at Red Cape Sports. But once again, if you guys are interested in learning how to send out these autograph requests, um, the whole process, um, I guess it is a lengthy process, but it's absolutely fun. A uh, cheap way to get autographs just makes getting mail a lot more fun when the government's not asking for your money. So, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time. All right. That's a wrap. Finally done editing. <laughs>